Okay, we got the lovers reversed. The three of swords. The three of wands reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. And then we got the Four of Pentacles. Two of Swords reversed at the bottom. So somebody had to make a decision, Leo. Somebody could be making a decision or somebody has already made a decision. So there could be a lover that may have walked away from you, Leo. Or maybe you walked away from this this person you reverse the energy if you have to but something happened between you and another individual Leo maybe y'all wasn't getting along maybe y'all couldn't come to some kind of agreement um maybe there was a lack of love a lack a lack of trust in y'all connection something happened where somebody walked away from the other person look we got the three of swords reversed and um I feel like even though somebody may have walked away, one of you guys, one of you guys could be upset about it. Even if they walked away from you, Leo, there could be somebody that's holding some form of resentment, Leo. Now, you, on the other hand, I feel like it may have hurt you, but you're not showing that this situation has hurt you, Leo, on your end. But it is showing me that the person that probably walked away from you for the most part is holding some form of resentment towards you. And they are heartbroken because they find it very difficult to move on. They could be down on their luck. Okay, they heartbroken. They find it very difficult to move on. They're down on their luck. Some of you guys' person could be broke with the Page of Pentacles. Maybe they could be out, you know, on finances, Leo. And, um... Not only that, this person may be, li you know, living in a situation, an environment, whether this is alone or with somebody else, could be broke. Somebody sitting in a living situation broke. And maybe they took it out on you, Leo. Some of you guys, this person probably took it out on you. But there is some level of resentment right here because this is somebody that could be very much jealous of you. Because you could be coming off this as a stable, stable person and happy and celebrating. Some of you guys, this person could be mad because they know that you are their twin flame. If you believe in twin flames, Leo. Some of you guys, this person could be mad because they know they're supposed to be with you. They know they're supposed to be happy with you. Now, the rest of you guys, this could be somebody that you could be mad at that left you for somebody else. Somebody could be heartbroken about a third party. Or just heartbroken about a relationship in general. Or just, like I said, holding some kind of resentment towards your happiness. Because they struggling. That's what I'm really picking up on. A lot of y'all, there could be somebody that you was dealing with that could be, you know, that have walked away from you. Because they could be very much jealous of your happiness. Some of y'all are in a connection with somebody. And whether this is romance, most of y'all is romantic. If you are involved with somebody and you're happy, they could be jealous of your relationship. The rest of you guys, you're not in a romantic connection. You have a connection with somebody that walked away from you because of jealousy. Because they're struggling. they mad because they're struggling, Leo. They're not doing too good. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're definitely down on their luck right now. We got the full reverse. Somebody walked away from Aquarius. Don't have to be. Or Gemini. Or you could have Gemini and, or Aquarius in your chart. Or Leo. Because we got the sun reverse right here. Yeah, this person mad. Because you are happy, stable, and they're struggling. To get their shit together. And um, maybe this is somebody that tried to take advantage of you, Leo, but you not, did not allow them. But it's telling me this is after this person walked away from you, they have been in a real bad, depressive state, Leo. 
like I said, they could be down and out on their luck right now. They could be broke, stuck in a living situation, whether this is alone or with relatives or in a relationship with somebody else. Um, and yeah, they have just, they walked away. Some of y'all, this person did walk away from you because they couldn't take advantage of you. But let's clarify the fool card. I'm about to clarify this right here. Oh, so. Oh, maybe they feel stuck where they at, Leo. Some of you guys, this person feel very much stuck where they at. But it's because of their finances. Maybe they can't, they can't pay their bills where they at. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Like I said, they down in luck. They broke. They don't have no money. They stuck in a living situation with somebody. And they feel like they can't go nowhere. But at the same time, they, they, they're they not stable. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Like I said, this person could be behind on bills. They just not happy right now, Leo. This person is in a very fucked up position right now. They're not happy at all. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they on their own. And this is somebody that act like they okay. But I feel like y'all know they're not okay. Because the way they may be treating you. Or the way they walked away from you. Or maybe all the above. But this is somebody that definitely feels stuck in a in a in a family situation where they can't keep up their bills. Holding on to a, con a connection or a family dynamic unhappy. This person could be alone. Maybe they got left. Some of you guys, this person could be, maybe they could be losing their home. Or having to move out but feel stuck. Because they are on their own. But this is somebody that's not happy for about your accomplishments, Leo. They're jealous of you. Some of y'all is a romantic partner that you were dealing with that walked away from you out of jealousy. Because they're struggling and, and you're not. And even if you seem happy, Leo, and you are struggling, you're not allowing this person to know that. You see what I'm saying? That's how they view you. Because they're jealous. This is somebody that you could be avoiding or this is somebody that could be avoiding you right now, Leo. But let's keep it moving and see what's going on. What else is going on? I'm going to clarify these cards right here. Because somebody is jealous of you and your stability and your happiness or something. Or your relationship if you are currently in a relationship. Some of y'all in a relationship, some of y'all not. Y'all just in this happy state of, you know, focusing on your stability. And, you know, like I said, even if you are struggling, you're, you, you have not, you're not showing it. But they, it's like this is somebody that is think that you got it all together, whether that's true or not. But it's out of all, you know, this person is hating on you for real. Because you're able to be happy and, you know what I'm saying, maintain everything. Look, they could be secretly gossiping about you, Leo. I'm going to take these reversed because I feel like that's, that's what is going on. They could be talking about you behind your back. But I feel like you're not paying this person no attention. It's like you stop communicating with this person. Because you're not allowed, you're not allowed, not allowing this person to stress you out. I feel like some of y'all completely gave up on this person. You have overcame this. Whatever this person tried to, I'm here, put on you or bash you. This person was bashing you, talking bad about you, whether it's to your face or to other people, trying to make you feel some type of way. Like I said, you're not losing no sleep over this. You're not. You ain't lose shit. We 
we got love affair right here. Some of y'all got somebody new anyways. Did not say that. Some of y'all either are in a connection with somebody else and they could be jealous of your connection and your stability or it could be one or the other. Most of y'all, it's probably both. And um, yeah, you're not losing no sleep because you got somebody else that you, you, you're dealing with on the low. Or they may know already. Some of y'all, this could be your ex. That could be jealous of you, your life, your new connection, or they just jealous of you and your your stability. Some of you guys, oh, let me be quiet. I'm gonna have to clarify. We got laughter reversed, and then we got distance reversed. Oh. This person ain't happy over the simple fact that you are dealing with somebody else. Maybe they know you are dealing with somebody else, Leo. And they're not happy about it. They're not really to let you go. They're not really re ready to let you go. Some of y'all let this person go. The rest of you guys, they let you go. But at the same time, they don't want to let you go. But maybe they're not, uh, you know, showing you that because they're too stubborn. Because they always mad. You see what I'm saying? Look, hopeful. Some of y'all completely, like, gave up. You lost hope in the situation. Okay, let's clarify. Let's do some clarification because I've seen a couple things. Hold on. Yeah, I just feel like you good. Some of y'all single. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody else. Even if you are single, you probably still got somebody in the background waiting. You know what I'm saying? You probably just start talking to somebody new. And maybe your, your ex know about it. You know what I'm saying? But you're not paying this person no attention. No matter how much they try to bash you, you know, to other people or bash you in general to your face, you're not losing sleep over it. You're not. Because you know you can have somebody else, whether you currently have somebody on the side or not. Okay, what else, Spirit? I gotta show you these cards, obviously, because they ain't coming out. Okay, there it go. Ooh. You know what's crazy? The more you don't care about what they say, the more devastated that this person is. The more shocked they is. They mad because you ended it with them. And you can get you you don't give a fuck. <laughs> You don't care. You're not losing no sleep over this. You're not depressed over this. You know what I'm saying? You're not losing your mind over this. They shocked about this. Yeah, you don't want to talk to them. They're devastated about this ending, Leo, or Cross Watcher. Maybe you feel like this is somebody that's a liar. Somebody that could be a liar. Maybe they lied to you about somebody else. Maybe they lied to you about y'all being together. I don't know. Yep. So, then I say that Ten of Pentacles. Somebody may have lied to you about a family situation. Whether they lied to you about some money and being st stable or a relationship. But they're going to be devastated you not talking to them, Leo. This is somebody that could be lying to themselves about wanting you. I'm a, I did pick up on that energy, Leo. Yes, they may be jealous of you. Yes, they may be holding resentment towards you. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're jealous of your life. Like I said, even if your life is not how you want it to be, this person is still jealous of your life, Leo, whether you're single or not. But this is somebody that is holding some form of jealousy, animosity towards you, you know, Lying to themselves about wanting to be with you. Somebody could be secretly in a relationship. Or your person sleeping around with somebody else. In somebody's family, I'm hearing. Ooh. I hope, maybe this is you. Maybe you're sleeping with some, somebody in their family. Or they're sleeping with some. Or they low key sleeping with somebody in your family. I don't know, child. This is messy.
But like I said, somebody ain't happy because somebody wasn't ready to let you go or yeah, or vice versa. Wow. Ace of Wands reverse. This is somebody that lied to themselves about wanting to be with you, Leo. They pull it back their energy, but at the same time, they're not happy. Whether you are with somebody else or not, because I'm seeing 50-50. Some of y'all are single and good on y'all own, Leo, completely. Without them. The rest of y'all, you still could be single. I'm seeing three categories. You still could be single, but you have somebody in the background waiting that you just started talking to. You're not, like, official or anything. You know what I'm saying? Um... The rest of you guys are in a relationship with somebody. But for the most part, I'm not picking up on that. It's single single, and have an option in the background for some, most of y'all. Or you just single, single. And you getting your shit together, period. But I am getting that energy where somebody, some of y'all, this person been lying to themselves about wanting to have that ten, tentacles with you, Leo. But they pulling their energy back. They're pulling their energy back. Temperance. It's like they sitting on it. But it's telling me you don't desire, you don't have a desire to wait on this person at all to get their shit together or you don't have a desire to get back together with them. Because maybe at one point in time, Leo, you was holding on to this person, Leo, and, you know, for them to get their stuff together. But I feel like you ran out of patience. Some of y'all ran out of patience and just moved on and started talking to somebody else. Or you just ran out of patience and just completely left. But for the most part, some of y'all's person walked away from you. And, um, it's like, it's like they kind of like to be, it's like they want to be around you. Some of y'all's person want to be around you, but they don't like you. They don't like you because you have more than them. Like I said, there's some form of animosity, you know, um, jealousy with this person. Because they don't like the simple fact that you are doing better than them. Y'all dealing with somebody like that. This person is still holding on to you, whether this is physically or energetically holding on to you. They care. But they can't invest in you. They can't give you what you want, Leo. I feel like this is somebody that wastes a lot of your goddamn time. The more you hold on to this person, the more time is being wasted. The more you lose patience with this person. And um, you stop investing into this person. You stop waiting on this person. And you don't have no regrets on stop talking to them. Because like I said, some of y'all feel like y'all dealing with somebody that lacks ambition anyways. They're a liar. On top of that, whether they lie to themselves or lie to other people about you behind the scenes, bashing you, because some of y'all's person do that too. They could have bad influences around them talking about you. Yeah, you detach yourself from this person because you feel like this person is toxic anyways. They don't want to get their shit together. They're very jealous of you, your life, you know, who you talk to, who you connect with, you know, your status, whatever you got going on. But at the same time, they want to be around you at times. I say at times because I feel like some of y'all is somebody that has like been in and out of your life. And even if they are the one that initiate the breakup all the time or the separation, it's like they be mad at you because you're not kissing their ass. You see what I'm saying? And now that you're gone and you're not talking to them no more, they mad. They, they really mad because you're not chasing them. They mad because you pulled your energy back, Leo. And they mad because they don't have a job. Some of y'all's person lost their job if they did. They may have lost their career if they did. Let's clarify this. I'm going to clarify the temperance card. Some of y'all, it's a Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all lost desire to heal the situation with this person and brought it to a close. 
because you learned your lesson with this person. Then I say some of y'all had to go back and forth. Y'all was going back and forth with this person. You had patience with this person. And it's sad to say that y'all was definitely dancing with the devil, I'm hearing. Some of y'all were like, y'all had a legit enemy around y'all, whether it's a lover or not. This person was very jealous of you. They really didn't like you. Some of y'all's person was only around because of stability. Maybe you brought comfort in their life. You see what I'm saying? Whether you help support them or whatever it is that they have went through. It's like no matter what you did for this person, this person was still just talking down on you behind the scenes and to your face. Some of y'all, they just kept disrespecting you and you kept forgiving them because maybe you felt sorry for them for the NA situation. Like I said, some of y'all, this could be a lover, a family member. It can be anybody, a friend. I don't know, man. This person is shady. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Y'all had, uh, y'all had a seek, y'all had an enemy, an enemy in front of y'all the whole entire time, the whole entire time. But it's telling me for the most part that you pull your energy back from this person, you know, because you feel guided to end it. You feel guided to, and you know, it's crazy because you're gonna be even more rewarded when you end this, you end this connection with this, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> with this lover, friend, enemy. Whoever this is, you're going to be more rewarded once you learn that lesson to finally cut them off. Because I feel like whoever this is, you gave them way too many chances any goddamn ways. You see what I'm saying? And and now they can't take advantage of you no more and they on their own. They over here mad because you're not kissing their ass or you're not supporting them no more. It's one or the other or both. Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus. Okay, what else, you know what? Where are they at? What else is taking place? Because I feel like a lot of y'all are ending it with this person. You're not chasing after them. You're not, some of y'all don't even have to, if this is a romantic situation, you just don't, you, you, you just not attracted to them no more, Leo. You know, you're being guided to end it, you know, and move off and focus on, move on and focus on yourself. Some of y'all could be actually moving out of town. Or moving to another country. Some of y'all are um, healing something with somebody from the past. Maybe that's who you got back together with. Or somebody you had, you know, on the side, you know, that you just started talking to. Or this your person. But this is somebody that wanted you, to, they wanted you to continue to be a fool. And you wasn't going for that shit, y'all. Yeah, you detached your, from, yourself from somebody toxic. Then I kept picking up double energy. Yeah, this person was like toxic. And somebody is realizing that they need to let go of somebody toxic. The enemy. Or it could be somebody realizing that you let go of their toxic ways. <clears throat> I can't wait till this cold is all the way out. We got the page of swords right here. Who are they watching? Yeah, this could be you. You see that this person could be ignoring you or maybe you could be ignoring them. Maybe you watching them um, text you or call you or something. I don't know. But somebody is realizing that they need to walk away from something or someone toxic. And and they could maybe they could be telling you or you could be texting them that it's over or they could be saying this to you. But like I said, even if they is saying it to you, Leo, you, you don't care. Yeah. Yeah, somebody could be telling somebody that it's over. Yeah. Like I said, you a lot of y'all lost desires repeating cards, basically. A lot of y'all lost desire to move things forward with this person anyways. Even if they're rejecting you or even if you rejecting them. 
It's like either way you good. You know what I'm saying? You don't give a fuck. But if they're going to continue to like try to like bash you and um, not want to get their life together, you're going to automatically walk away. Because I feel like that could be the, the breakthrough. That could be really the ending of the situation. Because no matter what you did for them, you, you know what I'm saying? It still didn't make, it didn't make a difference because they're still the same. They're still broke. They're still stuck in the same situ living situation that they are in. You see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter how much you cater to this person. It's still not going to change. You know what I'm saying? So if they is the one that was trying to act weird and act different to you and bash you and or whatever, it's like if they reject you, you fine without them, Leo, period. Because the shit ain't going nowhere. It's not. It may have been going in a circle. Look. Now somebody conflicted all in their head about walking away and wanting you to come back. I knew it was this person. I knew it. Even if they are the one that's acting up, acting like they don't fucking want you, you know what I'm saying? And even if they are the one that initiated this breakup with you and holding all this animosity and bashing you and jealousy towards you, all this negative energy directed to you, because I'm picking up on that energy, this person really is conflicted about you leaving for real, y'all. They really is. Because they, this person do love you. They just, like I said, they've been lying to themselves. They've been lying to... It's like they choose the struggle over being with you. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Because it's like... Even though some, some of y'all can have somebody in the background waiting on you, you start to talk to somebody new... They know that you are capable of leaving them and having somebody else. They know that. You see what I'm saying? But the more you support this person I'm hearing, when they stick around, I don't know why spirit just got me bouncing all over the place in my mind about this reading. But just bear with me. But it's like the more you support this person, Leo, no matter what you do for this person, they still gonna talk shit about you in front of you and behind your back. They still gonna be they still gonna be hating on you. You know, jealous, you know, animosity. They ain't going to act right. They ain't going to get their life together. So, like I said, you don't have a choice but to hold back. You don't have a choice but to walk away. Even if you want to be there for this person and they still don't, you know what I'm saying? Even if you want to be there for this person, they still talking shit. They still talking crazy. It's like, mm -mm. you're not about to continue to disrespect me. You see what I'm saying? You, you just get tired of that shit. You're tired of the same old, same old. But just know this person is going to be conflicted in their head. About you getting away because he down the side, this person really loves you. And they and they feel it's about you being with somebody else because you are a blessing to them. You always have been a blessing to you know to them. But they always remain cold and detached toward you, Leo. This person has always been cold and detached to you, Leo. And the truth of the matter is, I thought a lot of y'all wanted to see this person grow. A lot of y'all wanted to see this person prosper in life, Leo. They will deeply regret this. They will deeply regret this. They will. You know, and it's sad to say that the person that they belong to, they are jealous of. They have some type of animosity over. They envy you. Like, this is crazy. This is the type of energy that I'm picking up on. Okay, let me pull some more cards and see if there's anything that I'm missing. Just, just for fun. You know, just pull some more cards. But for the most part, they're going to regret bashing you, talking down on you. Being jealous of you and all of that, attacking you and shit. They gon' they gonna need you. I'm here to miss me when I'm gone. Like, I feel like you really did genuinely like was holding on because you cared about this person, but I feel like as time go went by, you gained to be very bored and tired and frustrated and got tired of going in a circle with this person and not getting nowhere and you just got tired of everything, you know, the disrespect, you know, and and, and some of y'all I don't know why, but I feel like the, the breakup was kind of mutual a little bit. Because you got tired of disrespect and the same old, same old anyways. Um, and they have walked away because they wanted, they thought you was going to chase them. But the opposite happened because you got tired of this um, a repetitive cycle. This person crazy enough to really think that you're going to continue to sit around while they talk about you. Like, because they still wanted to be around you. Crazy. And now they mad. We got grumpy. Some of y'all's person could be a little bit older than you. Or maybe they are older than you. This is somebody that needs therapy. Seek therapy. Yeah, this person needs help. 
But it's also saying this person could be mad, like I said, jealous of the support that you get around you. Whether well, it's family, friends, maybe business. I don't know what you got going on. But this is somebody that was just very jealous of what you had in your personal life, in your material life with y'all. I don't like that. And at the same time, still want to hold on to you. This person is like hooked on you for real. Some of y'all got a stronghold over this person. Look, they will be reaching back out probably with an apology or an explanation. Or just give you the um, in inclination that they haven't gone nowhere. Because we did see that. we seen that. Um, yeah, we seen the strength card. And I said they still going to be holding on. You have a hold on them. I just said that. You have a hold on this person. No matter how much they act like they hate you, they jealous of you, they envy you, Leo, no matter how much they gossip bad about you in front of your face, disrespect you, and behind your back, this you have a hold on this person. This person really cares. This, you have this person. You, listen, you have this person's heart for real, and they mad about that. Like I said, some of y'all, this person just chose to live that fucked up lifestyle, you know, overpicking you. They don't, they could just be scared of other situations in general. But I just feel like this is somebody that need to get their shit together. Like, you're not about to continue to go and just circle with this person if they don't want to get their life together and you trying to support them on top of them talking shit. Hell no. That's exactly what I heard. Hell no. Like, you're not about to, mm -mm. You will move on to somebody else, somebody else if you have to, or you'll just be alone and doing your own thing with whoever you want to do it with. Look, strong sexual chemistry. Some of y'all's person gonna come in and could be wanting to have makeup sex with you after all the bullshit that they just put you through. And that's up to y'all whether y'all want to take this person back. Did not say that. Stronghold. You have this person's heart for real. No matter how much they act like they can't stand your ass, Leo, you have a, you have this person's heart for real. They did not just say this person scared. Did not just say that. I said I just think they kind of scared for real. That's why they chose chose the fuck up the fucked up lifestyle over picking you. But like I said, some of y'all are on the urge of walking away and, and finding somebody else because you probably already got a new boo on the side. You about to talk to anyways. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all are gonna be a little bit hesitant to let this person back in, Leo, because you know they're a little shady. You know what I'm saying? So. Y'all gonna have to keep a, look, a lookout on that situation, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here, and y'all take care.